I'm showing you how to get Worst Client for Minecraft 1.21. To download Worst, you want to head over to worstclient.net. It is linked down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. There's a bunch of more info about this and many other clients out there in there. <laughs> Anyways, here you want to just scroll down a little bit until you find the download section, which as you can see is right over here. There we can download it for 1.21. You want to click on this gray button. And as you can see, the download is automatically going to start. Now we also need the Fabric API, which is this white button next to that. Click on that as well, and the download will automatically start for that too. Now as you are probably able to gather by the fact that you needed to download the Fabric API, you do need Fabric to be able to use Worst. If you don't have it yet, or you're not sure how to get it, I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, as you can see here in my downloads, I have the Fabric API as well as Worst Client. I can now press on Windows and R at the same time, and that's going to open up this box where you want to type App Data, just like so. Hit OK or click Enter, and it's going to open up this folder right here. From there, we want to go into the folder called Roaming.Minecraft. Maybe scroll down a little until you find the Mods folder right here. Inside of that mods folder, we want to drag Worst Client as well as the Fabric API, just like so. Perfect. Now we can close both of these folders and open up the Minecraft Launcher. Here in the Minecraft Launcher, of course, make sure you have Fabric selected for 1.20.1, and then we can launch Minecraft. Anyways, here in Minecraft, as you can see, the game has loaded up, and I'm just going to head into a Minecraft world and show you how to use it. So here inside of Minecraft, you'll notice the worst watermark on your screen already. And so the basics of this client, I'm going to explain to you right now. And if you want a full, full in-depth tutorial that covers literally everything about this client, then I will link that down in the description below. Anyways, now with the basics to get you started. You want to press on right shift, and that is going to open up this utility menu right over here that contains all the utilities that this client has. You can also use right control and that is going to bring up this alternate one right over here. Anyways, I'm going to stick with the one using right shift because I personally prefer that one. All of these things you see here are the utilities. You can click on them to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off. Then you can actually also click on the green arrow and actually, and as you can see what that's going to do is give you a customization menu for this specific utility. In this case it's aim assist and as you can see I have a whole customization menu. I can hover above these and it's going to give me a brief description as you can see and they'll all display on the left. And basically what we have over here is an array list and that displays all active utilities. Something cool in the customization menus here is that they'll almost always have the option to add a keybind. As you can see, it's always at the very bottom. Here I can in this case add a keybind for aim assist by clicking on the green plus. Moving on in this menu, you'll see that all of these are alphabetically sorted. However, if you scroll down to the very bottom, it'll start again and what we have down at the very bottom here are a different type of utilities as you can see these are all more general ones we have stuff like zoom an entire keybind stuff like that so not really things that affect you in game as you can see you also have the option to turn it off over here if you wish to do so here under the worst logo area we can go to the customization menu of this and basically we can turn that off if we do wish to do so as you can see now our screen is completely clean but we can of course still access the client same thing for the hack list if we don't want every active utility to show on the left side anymore we can go into the customization menu of this and then we can as you can see customize it but we can turn it off as well Something else I recommend checking out is the zoom area where you can set a keybind to zoom which is probably a very useful feature for most people and continue actually on to the pause menu here where we have the worst client options. Here we can manage our keybinds, zoom as well as the blocks that show or don't show when we use x-ray and then as you can see some more general settings and stuff like that as well. Finally, opening up the chat over here, Worst Client also has commands. Just like in vanilla Minecraft where you can for example type slash give, the slash is the command prefix. For Worst, we use 
the dot. In this case, I can type in dot help, and that is going to give me a list of all the commands, or at least a page, um, a few of them. I can type in dot help, and then two, for example, and that's going to give me the second page. These are all commands over here. You can actually find them in this menu as well. Once again, they'll all be prefixed with the dot. If you hover above them here, you'll get a brief description. If you're still not sure what they do, or you don't want to go into that menu, like let's take the dot bind command for example. I don't know how to use dot bind, I don't know anything about it. So I can type dot bind in chat, and as you can see, it's going to give me the exact way how to use this, the multiple uses, as well as the description talking about what you can achieve with this. Anyway, basically, that was that. There is not much more I need to tell you guys to get you started. Once again, if you want a full in-depth tutorial, then that is going to be linked down in the description below. For right now, though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.